Let me be clear. I'm not suicidal. I just want to kill myself. Could you, uh, elaborate? Is that your real voice? Uh, no. Then why are you masking your voice like you need anonymity? I'm the one that's vulnerable here. After this gets out, if I don't off myself in time, they're gonna have me more padded than Anne Flo at the end of the month during a full moon. The, the producers asked me to use a voice modeling. But I see my error. You're being brave and I'm being... A dingleberry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, could you explain this idea that you're not suicidal? Suicide is giving up. Killing myself is deliberate. Like, I'm not resigning myself, I just want to die. Why? Because this world's full of phonies and all-out fakery. Fake like the system and the ads that buy us. Fake like the fast foods that serve us. Fake like the teachers and politicians will fool us. Fake like the afterlife destination they sell us. Fake like your voice modulation and this lame dog. Fake, fake, fake. Now get bent and let me be real. See you in the nothingness. Can you at least wait till we're done the documentary? I think it could help. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll see. Get on with it then. I don't have long. Look at me. I'm fat. I want to kill myself. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not that large because all I do is eat. I'm bored, man. I'm so bored. I only think of killing myself when you bore me. So please don't bore me. Murderers, you almost killed me. Seriously, someone kill me. I can't drown. I have no arms or hands or anything to strangulate myself with. What kind of life is this? Stuck in a bowl? Well, maybe I'll starve myself then. Yeah, right. <laughs> Food's too good. I'll figure something else out. You don't worry. Just glad I give you purpose while I shit, where I sleep and eat and swim. Hey, hey, are you making money off this documentary? I hope so, but the main aim is to shed light on mental health and uh, suicide. How much you pay me then? Ha! <laughs> shut up, shut up, you big capitalist! What you want me to do with moolah? I'm a fish, a fat fish. Ha! <laughs> jokes, jokes, jokes. Ah, uh, drink the water in this bowl and kill me already. I hate my life. I kill many mouses in Korea. Activists say I am monster. This hurt my feelings. You know, my research helped make laxative, headache medication, all kinds of things for make people better. You feel better, no? The tests are not 100%, but you want to sacrifice human babies and, uh, and the retard instead? People with uh, disabilities. Oh, yes, uh, disabilities, sorry. But Research tells us animal testing isn't that effective anyway. Your your methods are you a bit think outdated. life of an insignificant little mouse is, is worth reflection? It's sentient and complicated. I get it. I get it. I admit they are remarkable creatures. Did you know, for example, a mouse's heart beat 500 times per minute? Imagine when they are stressed. And a human heart? 100 BPM. Less impressive, no? Then why kill them? Oh, well, it's, it's my job, my friend. But I tell you secret, okay? No one can know. Well, we're, we're filming this. It's going to be released uh, to the public and we'll be entering into several competitions which may bring e even more attention. Thank you for respecting privacy. So, yes, the secret is mouses talk to me. Talk to you? Like with mouse noises or, or in English? Is translated to English. And they say to me that they want to die. They beg me for death, so I have mercy on them and take their lives. I am not a monster. I am their savior. I am their king.
eyes you can see it in my eyes i'm all cried out with nothing to say we're uh filming what we're, we're filming oh oh yes these times are gloomy but here pick a year for me any year when were you born young man uh, 1996 1996 i can practically smell the meconium off of you well, that was just another year. Blizzards, earthquakes, oil spills, bombings, wars, plane crashes, capsized boats, avalanches, nuclear tests, shooting sprees, hostage situations, suicides, exploding light-up shoes, shark attacks, killer hippos, celebrity scandals, and deadly fashion. I even got divorced that year. And so did Michael Jackson. There's just as much good things too, no? Like, why not report those instead of over-reporting the same sensational headlines? All I can say is that the best news network in the world launched in 1996, and I've been gainfully employed ever since. You know what I mean. Uh, I'm not saying it's just the right, but maybe it would help with people's mental health and create better human reports. <sighs> That's all fake news. Our reports are fair and balanced. We are the most watched, most trusted. Oh, look, eh? Cool. If people go, then if you throw a frog in a pot of boiling water, I'll jump out because it's so damn hot. But if you place me in water, get the room temperature, and slowly turn up that heat, it's got a different game, eh? Because according to your schlickety schlack, you say that I wouldn't mind and notice the ha, 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 and then I'd slowly boil my brains out. You know that allegory? Well, it's trashy trash. Lies in your eyes. Because it's you dummies that are slowly killing yourselves. How so? By poisoning the planet, you methane sacks. So stop using animals to tell you allegorical tales, eh? And take some responsibleness for your suicidal nature. It's not cool, brother. Do you see how big I am anyway? Try to throw me in a fucking pot. Touch me. Touch me. Go, oh, I dare ya. Stop dissecting us in science class, too. Doesn't make you any smarter. Idiots. Peace out. Namaste. Hmm. I never thought of taking my life. Maybe in the past. Or a previous life. But I found peace in yoga and meditation. Calm and mindfulness. I am well with myself being with myself but if i were to leave this physical plane let's say i know that i'm much too polite to take my life in public i would rather find a way to do it privately and i would ensure that my body was intact so those who find me see peace not death in fact I would find a way to be smiling. How would you plan controlling your facial muscles? The, the body releases muscular tension in death, so I'm not sure how... With my spirit and some glue. Namaste. Oh. I am ugly, I am lonely. Even with three genitals, I cannot seem to find love. My life is going to end early on Earth. How depressing. Have you thought of going back home for a bit? My planet <laughs> was destroyed by the impact many of your human years ago. I took refuge on this planet because of its primitive appeal. I thought I would be cool, but instead I am told I am taking a jobs. Why would I want to take up your menial employment? I have six brains, including one in my belly button. I am only here for friendship. I can be your friend. Mm, maybe 
he stood once said he's my friend and had lots of friends who want to friend me. He takes me to his home, my home is not home, but laboratory and they stick needles in my brains and pull my skin off. I hate him, can't escape the compound. Ever since I have been eating friends to sustain myself. But it's not enough to just stay alive. Eating, defecating, sleeping, repeating is not living. Do you understand? Then just get off this planet. Other than billionaires with your ship, you're the only one who probably could. Just start over rather than end it. I will take your advice into consideration. Would you like to come with me? I, I, I couldn't. There, there, there's people who depend on me to spend our fleeting existence together. I like you. You are not friend, but you are not enemy. Let me play you a song from my... <laughs> Birthday. Yeah, sure. Well, my dad's a piñata. He hung himself at my birthday party when I was 10, okay? He busted I had to pick up the pieces, except instead of candies, it was entrails and sad genetic transmission. You get it? My life wasn't a fiesta. How'd you overcome? I didn't. I'm busted too. That's why you're here filming my spilled guts. We wanna... we wanna help. You can't. You can't, cause she, uh... She, uh... She left me. I end up in the hospital, my third time actually. Apparently I have to eat. You know, they got my rat tail, thought with my history that I'd use it to hang myself. Why not cut off my dick lawyer at it? Maybe I'll wrap it around my neck and, and call it a life. Well, guess it's not long enough. Is that why she left me? Cause I can't figure it out. She said I was depressive, depressing, but that it wasn't me, it was her. She also said I was a nice guy. Maybe I was too nice. Maybe I should have killed her. Killed both of us. Happy ending. You could finish the documentary with that line. That would be something else like happy ending, but it's not happy because I'm still really sad about her leaving me. And my dad leaving me. And my whole fucking life being shit. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah, damn right it's hard, man. Do you feel like that too? Yes, I do. I do. I was just thinking, like, you know, like, you could even add a, a laugh track to the depressing things I say. It would be so ridiculous. Like, life. You know, like, life's just so ridiculous. What can you do but laugh? Just, just fucking laugh. I'm, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing, man. <laughs> Laugh with me. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> I'm not fucking laughing. The sun is shining and I'm feeling okay. Oh yes, I'm I, uh, I uh, saw your tedious documentary, by the way. It's alright, I guess. So, uh, I don't know. I'll stick around a little longer then. But, you're still a dingleberry. Yeah.